right, the coolest thing that I ever used as far as industrial strength uh, shop vacs was a type of a shop vac where, in, where, okay, if you will, you can leave the shop vac on one floor and all you had to do was just take your hose and your wand and carry the wand and plug the wand into a wall and then leave the shop vac on one floor. I mean, uh, if more places had those things, damn, that would make life easier. All right, what's up, yins, guys? Time for another video. Figure I put my sunglasses on here because you can't see over here. The sun is actually hitting me right here. Don't look like it going around in my face here. But yeah, I'm going to do a video about subject matter like this because I did a lot of talking about stuff um, in my occupations, previous occupations. And I'm going to share this video just because I was using the shop vac today cleaning the basement since it's a nice day. It's raining, snowing, and the kind of things I used to do, you know, you could do job assignments on an app, told you about different lectures about things. But this, I'm actually excited about telling you this because it's probably useless information, but you might want to ask your guy. You guys might want to ask yourselves um, one useful thing in your house if you ever won the lottery and bought a house or built a house. Um, this uh, is something kind of cool that I would kind of share with you. For example, I got this shop vac here, right? I've done this. I do this uh, over here, clean the basement every once in a while, clean everything to clean the house. But I've used different size shop vacs doing different kind of job assignments, either at restoration in houses, doing the dirty work. I have worked in a cement factory. This is this is uh, one of the main things I want to tell you because I don't know about you guys. I, if I had ever got rich and bought a house, bear with me, why I would have this kind of system in my house. Along with being used in shop vacs, different assignments. Everything from cleaning drywall, dust, construction, cleanup. You know, you connect the shop vac hose right here, right? Well, I worked in a place once, a cement factory, when ongoing assignments. I bore you with the details while I get on with the company, but it was a job assignment thing. And some of them pay pretty damn good. And there was a shop vac system, and I would like to have this in my house. You guys probably never heard of this. But I used to clean the grounds, you know, use a weed eater, lawn mower, and then I used to clean the tower. Say, we have, there was a multi-level tower. I want to give you a whole lecture on how they manufactured and bagged the concrete. But yeah, there was a tower up for several level, levels, different systems that... Uh, when they loaded the sand and everything, shipments of sand, they'd bring into the places and mix the sand and send it out. But it also got dirty, and I used to have to clean up over there. But unlike other kind of cleaning, um, without rambling on, I'm to get right to the subject. If you ever work in a cement factory, instead of one of these, there was a very large shop vac that ran on wheels, okay, if it, it was bigger than we are. It was like this. It can run on wheels, and there was an elevator, right? But for the most part, like we had one would take in an elevator to other, other levels, but we I think there were like two with big, huge shop vacs. And instead of taking the whole shop vac most of the time, the damn things was huge, they were like bigger around than a water heater and almost very tall, huge. And what they do, and very bottom level they'd have one and then maybe on the central halfway up floors they'd have one right and instead of carrying the shop back up to the levels in an elevator they would have the shop back right connected the hose of the shop back and instead of having the nozzle like this the other end if you will would actually go into a hole in the wall like a there was like a tubular system in the wall like ductwork and it would connect from the shop back to the wall right and then what we would do is we would have each level there would be on racks a hose like this where you can connect brushes wands and different things like that and each level 
uh, there were several levels, had a hole in the wall. And you would connect this to the hole in the wall and the very long hose and the connectors would be all different, different brushes. And I would, and I thought to myself, uh, if I was ever rich and built a house, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have something like that installed in your house if you had like a lot of rooms. Quite personally, I wouldn't want no billion dollar home like uh, Elon Musk or Bill Gates. Say if you had a smaller size, you know, you don't want to be paying taxes the rest of your life, you know. You won some big old uh, Powerball jackpot or something. Not like you'd have a giant mansion, but something. You'd pay all your taxes early so the government, state, central, if they say the state, uh, federal, and local government, just pay them a little bit more so the tax demand leave you alone and live for the rest of your life. If you had a bigger house or say you even had a, a, a place that was a business or something, or a place of business, it would be good to install something like that in multiple levels, whether you did your own cleaning or you hired a cleaning person. Does that make sense? And yet, instead of having the shop vac, right, where you had to carry it around all the time, they have ones on wheels. I have used them, like I said, different kind of construction assignments. I use ones like this, and I use ones that were bigger. I drug around on wheels. But when I worked at a concrete company that had like a tower, a cement factory, um, it would be the, we'd have one big giant shop back, right? It was on wheels. You'd have one end plugged into the, uh, shop back and then the other end of the hose without no fixture plugged into the wall. And then every level you go up, you would just have one of these and a wand, plug one into the wall and the other end, you do all your cleaning all in the rooms. And I would do the, the whole top of the tower. Well, I, oops, there's stuff on there. I was just cleaning the basement. But I think that is ingenious. I mean, I don't want to ramble too much. I could have got to the point. But I think anybody to ever build a house like, if you were rich and famous and built a house, I think uh, anybody should have that. I mean, say, even if you make the life of your hired help cleaning people easier, say you had to clean up a mess of emergency by yourself makes sense instead of dragging all the way uh a vacuum all the way up yeah um, yeah and of course the big old vacuums too you would uh depend on what kind you got you know what i mean like they would have like a thing you open it up and and uh, get the shit out of there you know what i mean um but yeah, that genius. I mean, that's like. So that made me think about stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, Oh my, yeah, basically with this. Alright, let's see your knuckles. Oh shit. Alright, whenever you're ready, hit stop. Okay, y'all.